Hello folks and welcome back to Nomad's Land for Survival Challenge. And here we are, we are harvesting now. So let's get everything underway, get the workers back on. So yeah, we're doing our cotton and our sunflower. Sunflower, that's going to go into the extended oil plant and the farm factory to get us some sunflower oil. And the cotton is going to be for our productions for clothes. So yeah, that, what's that's going on? Got so many equipments. There we go. Also, we've leased out a second header. So we can go and do the soybean, not soybean fields, to the sunflower fields at the same time. And yeah, this is going to be a very easy field to do. It's pretty much, despite looking like a faddish shape, only if we've got 24 then that will look a proper efficiently shaped field. That's all chugs me up, but that's the majority inside of me, and inside of all of us, I'm guessing. But anyway, so what we're going to do next as well is finish off collecting straw. Because we do need to turn over that field, so we can plant wheat or barley now. But I don't think we're going to do that. I think I'm going to wait off and do sugar beet and that in the next year. However, there's no reason to obviously not start the field now, so what I'm going to do is get this done, get the head done, or at least to the top part there, get the worker off on it because we need food for our animals. Chickens are out of feed and so are our cows for tea and more, so what I'm going to do now is a little quick time lapse. I know it's early, but we need to get a lot of things done in this episode. And I want to avoid it being a 50, 60 minute episode, because like last episode, with that, oh, that conveyor cell, that pretty much was almost to death for me. I almost went, you know what, rage quit, and just unsaw numbers and then delete the save, but nah. Levels mind prevailed in the end, regardless, so yeah. Let's get all this done, and I'll see you folks on time. Perhaps around dinner time once we're done here. These are huge capacity combines, so we were about emptying. But still got a lot of work to do.
Wars are still underway and I do apologise for that in the bit there, releasing that second Cotton Monster. God, 120 miles an hour for the race station engine, but yeah, I did tune it down, I did just to a general 10, 11 ish miles an hour. So yeah, we got two workers on the way on each field. Hopefully, the Red Reaper can actually harvest properly because yeah, it was having issues with just going like left and right, left and right, left and right. So I was like, what? But who knows, anyways? But I think we've got at least one cotton bell ready somewhere along this strip here. So I thought, pick up a mace and take it to one of our factories. And chickens, they got some food now. Cows, they got some food, so that's all good. And we get down here, we do need to top up our greenhouses, but they'll last a while actually. Like these ones are lasted so well for us, so. Clothing factory needs cotton. Fair enough. That needs milk. They need milk as well. Gone past that combo yet, but so yeah, this is what we're on about. Sunflower oil, we're gonna get a lot of that. So at the moment, yeah, doing good, almost out of straw. But fair enough, we can put easy put more straw in there if needed at given any point. But I have a look over here as well. Add milk as well. Add the milk. So yeah, we need to unpop the milk work. So we need cotton and wool. So yeah, we need to put cotton in both factories. Wool into the farm factory. So yeah, I think let's do that, shall we? So start off with this bell. Hopefully we can pick it up. How big is it? What, 10,000 liters? And that weighs nothing, so yeah. Yeah, it's gonna need to work as they are. It is gonna take a fair while. I was trying to get into drawing mode there, so. Okay, it's going that way, fair enough. So actually, we've got another bell ready, so let's go and grab that. So we can put one bell into the clothing factory and one into the farm factory. So, stop. Ooh, that was close. I do love the LED strips. So, yeah, that bell's unloaded. Go. It's on the way. So yeah, let's go and oh, that's two tons. Okay, well, what did it say? 100 kilograms just now. Ah, I guess it maybe this. Oh, I don't know why you say that. But yeah, can I put two bells together? Downside of this, we're on a bit of a slope here, so. No, do roll. Please do roll. But yeah, get these cotton in. I'll start making more clothes, because I think once we've done the harvesting for this year. No, we go. Grab a both. There we go. Just about manage both, but yes, yeah, so as I was saying, once we're done, we do need to put wheat in for the feed. So I'm thinking that little field that we've left for ages down here, we should put a bit of wheat in there, get the planter, put a bit of wheat in. So then for next year, we know that is only for the chicken feed. And I'm thinking like sugar beet. Should be corn and maybe even soybeans as a different crop. Obviously, the main goal of next year is going to be that 
outside of the Greek factory and outside of the Greek production, so... Oh, no, 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 don't fall over. Well, we have fallen over, but we've cracked ourselves, so... Nothing to see here. Also, actually, with our cows, how long have they been out of milk for? Because I do need more milk. Dang it, 20,000 litres, so... Not much. So, we'll put one con bell in here. There we go. And we'll take this one over to the other factory. And here we go, cotton is on its way. I'm going to get up more pancakes and donuts to move, move away. So I'm guessing it goes in this one, or is it? No, no, yeah, it's that one. And now for the wall. And wow, we got so much wall, completely forgot. That's almost producing another bell. I think, how many bells have I already got? we right, put two in. That's three bells then. Four. And where's the worker two? So yeah, I've got a fair few bells already, so... I think, yeah, that's producing so much wool. Why isn't this one? Ah, too many pallets. That's why, so yep. Yeah. Let's get all this transferred over. And then I think we'll focus back on the harvest, I think. Still waiting on for the fields to be done. Cotton coming out very well. Sunflower, not so much. Oh, it's just that worker going left and right, left and right, consistently. And oh, I'm just annoyed with it. So, I've got three bells here. I'm excited to lease this. It's a little cotton picker, or cotton bell picker. Yeah, eight, nine grand, but god, it's so easy to pick up these bells. But yeah, so we've got a lot of the wool over, we've got a lot of cotton over. And that is going to help us out really well with this, so... I'm going to put most of the cotton in here, because it's going to be the faster production. There we go, so just shove that out of the way. There we go. And I'll move that way. And whilst we're here, we can just start moving some of these out of the way. Oh, so many pallets. 
So we've had so we've got these pallets, we've got the chicken eggs and that, we've got beans our loaves. Also we've got some planks, have we accidentally spawned? Because our loaves. But for now, yosses, pancakes and donuts, I'm going to keep, because when's a good time to sell them? I know this sounds stupid. When is it a good time to sell them when we're at 2 plus million at the moment? But, in fairness, I want to sell them when they're at a decent price. So, donuts prices are going up, so not quite yet. And just looking at the pancakes. So, pancakes we're looking at February or March. Fair enough. And donuts we're looking at December to February. Once it hits towards like 8 grand, then yeah, sure we'll sell them. But yeah, so let's get these to load up a sec. And then we'll get the doom loaded, and these will go into the pallet storage. And with that, we'll sort it so we get a warranty of 2000 euro shot, even of X, Y, Z. But yeah, the pallet storage is over here. I'll just have a look at C. It's full of Because I am curious on that. No, it doesn't look full. I've got 65 out of 120, 150 pallets. So that from clicking constantly. So yeah, most of it at the moment is the donuts, which is to be expected, along with the pancakes. Do you have some clothes? Clothes is a bit of a hit and miss between here and the other pad storage. But yeah, since we're in a bit of a rush for milk at the moment, I'm tempted just to buy some milk in. Like, okay, not to just a. Oh yeah, we sell that as well. Yeah, the digest itself, we're gonna get. 2.4 million out of it, so we need to sell that. That combine is costing me money by just being an absolute dick. At least not all the arms, even like the one we got set up at the top. That's already down on the long stretch, so I should best close that so I can digest it for spinning out. So yeah, let's go and sell this, because I want to buy some milk. Yeah, I know we've got cows that produce milk and all that, but it's taking forever for that to sort out, so I'm thinking, where's that other container? Is it down here? Yeah, it's down here, so there's nothing in that, so you know what? I'm going to do a cheeky reset. Uh, yes, so, yeah. It's like that. Why? Not even going that speed. You stupid worker. 81 grand flat, so not yeah, not too bad. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to reset that. And I'll just get everything filled up with milk. Everything that needs milk will be topped up. And yeah, we need to take care of our productions. I know there should be times where I've been very frustrated with our production chains. And that will just become in basically production management simulator almost. But yeah, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to buy it all. I want to further some these productions so I get more money in. So saying that, we are going to be spending a lot of money, so... Actually, I want to configure this because I have not used this in a while, so... So I'm look at the capacity as well, so... Go to here, have a little look. No, don't want story spreader. Yeah, so a million litres, so that won't need that much, but I think, yeah, it's a quick compensate for this. Let's go and sell a million litres of digesting before purchasing the milk. 
Okay, we haven't quite hit a billion leaps yet, still got plenty in the air. I think we've got enough in there for now, so... You know what, heck yeah, so now... So yeah, we got 850,000 litres. So yeah, we should get in a region of just over a million, I think. Yeah, just a million, give or take. Ah, yeah, it's just worker and moved over so we can collect uh, the cotton. So, yeah, mine's gonna go up, and we're gonna jump cut to when this is almost completely sold. But, yeah, we should easily hit that 3 million mark. And there we go, over 3 million liters. Well, not 3, 3 million quid, not 3 million liters. So, yeah. Just over a million that was on its own, so yeah, not too bad for the little hole. And um, we're just gonna buy some milk in that before we pick it. It's gonna be cheap ish enough. Still gonna cost us a fair little bit, but it's gonna be worth it. So yeah, we want some milk. And I'm thinking about a quarter of a million, yeah, a quarter of a million litres, so, yeah, 20 grand for 40,000 litres, so yeah, then we get this filled up to about a quarter of a mil, and then we'll start taking things over. Okay, that was a bit more than planned, I was just looking at just the productions and that, so, yeah, 40,000 litres, I think that's going to be more than enough for what we need, so, we need to fill up the farm dairy here, fill up the industrial bakery, and then the other productions, but that's all the crucial at the moment, because for example, if we have a look at the farm supply factory. How much milk has that got? Well, as you know, that does need it, so you know what? We'll just shove the rest in there because I think uses stuff. Yeah, that needs butter. That's got plenty of milk. It says it's low, but they last a while. It's just a huge capacity. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is one more time lapse. So, yeah, we will get all the milk transferred over, get the corn transferred over, and then I think we'll finish up uh, for this episode doing the planting of the wheat. I'll never feel over there. Finally done, so we've got over a hundred thousand litres of cotton in here already. The other factory that's bringed up to the max with cotton, so yeah, I'll say we've done very well. That's over two hundred thousand litres, and 
Well, that's almost empty, and the other ones, I'll say about another 20,000 a year or so. About 220,000 a year or so. That ain't too bad. Also, we're finally done with sunflower harvest. And how bad of bits did we miss? So, a strip up there and a strip up there. Let's go and grab those a sec. Yeah, and the red combine that was finally sold with putting like what we've on here. Tracks on the front, but heels on the back, so it doesn't go left and right, left and right, left and right. Constantly. That reading or nerve there, that did. Yeah, and the cotton, there's a few bits here and there, but we can do that with the harvester uh, in between episodes. But, yeah, I think I actually we've done very well for an episode. I'm actually quite chuffed at myself off. For one, doing actual farming stuff rather than productions, to a degree. But yeah, we've still got stuff to do. We've got sure to pick up on our old wheat fields. We need to get that field turned over. That involves mulching, roll. No, 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 it's ain't core farms, ain't rolling for replant. But yeah, we need to mulch, we need to fertilize, and do all sorts of other bits as well. Actually, is that field mulch? That is cultivated. Is that fertilized as well? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fully fertilized already. Doesn't need lime or any of the other fields. That needs lime, dang it. And that needs lime, so we need to get that done. But mulching, please say I mulched. Thank, thank God. This is the right thing for once there, and actually remember to mulch. And that's going to be the thing with like, these mega fields. It's good when you're doing a harvesting, it's so quick, so easy. To an extent where you're releasing double combines that can do super speeds and that, and have huge capacities like this, like 130,000 litres. So, this is a quarter of a million capacity for sure. Actually, can I put everything into one combine? So, even just having to do one of those with two combines. So, let's have a little quick look, shall we? Say hit the tip. Oh, I think we're just going to be just slightly. Yeah, well, I'll still do it eight ways, but. Yeah, just over 250,000 litres of. Ouch. Some flour. No things considering, it ain't too bad. That's just rapidly empty. Get that header returned. Oh, well, I was from that convoy. Oopsie. So, yeah, that is completely full. Quarter of a million litres. So, let's go and empty this. So, like, the last thing I think I want to do in between episodes is just get these little bits picked up because. That is really annoying me, that is. Yeah, hashtag triggered, but strip over here, we forgot as well. Just forgetting everything today, we are. So, yeah, that is going in. And if we have a quick look, is that going to take it all? Be surprised if it does and it doesn't. I sure it shouldn't have made it, maybe very close to. As it is bang on a quarter of a million. No, it's gonna be like 200,000 litres. Ah, fair enough. That just means we'll put the rest into the farm supply factory and get sunflower oil out of there. Go. But yeah, look at that bells. Eight. This is eight six. That's fourteen. Yeah, twenty thousand. So that is two hundred and twenty-five thousand 
what you found in the years of corn we did in that harvest, and that and that means well because we this field was a hundred percent fertilizer now, and I think it had a hundred percent efficiency as well. We find a strip here. There we go. Okay, apparently that says it's harvested. Yeah, ready to harvest. It's a bit. Numbers are a bit iffy. But yeah, it is all fully fertilized. I mean, at one point it was. Oh, what's it? 100% yield bonus because we mulched and rolled and did everything. And it turns out it was worth it, so. Bear me a sec whilst I'll quickly grab the cedar. There we go, so yep, yeah, we've got the planter slash cedar. And we'll quick tops up with some seeds, so that'll be from in here. I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. So yeah, that is topped up, and we've selected barley. No particular reason, I think we've already done wheat, so let's do barley instead, so... Take a little cheeky shortcut up here. And yep, yeah, as I said, this is purely for the chicken food, so... We're planting it now, so that means we're going to be harvesting the barley in July. Which is actually a good decision rather than wheating that, because that means we've had to harvest it in August. So, that was a wise choice on my part. But yeah, as I said, the other fields are going to be sugar beet. At least sugar beet and corn. I'm going to look at some of the other stuff, like cereal production. And some other bits here and there, but... Overall, ain't gonna be too much of an issue. So, yep, yeah, as we are putting the barry in, and that is where I'm gonna leave it today. So, yep, yeah, next time we will finish off the seeding, get the shawl finally picked up, get all the fields turned over, and I think, yeah, I'm not sure as well. Oh, yeah, the digest date, maybe sell some more of that. And some other bits, perhaps, I'm not too sure yet. I'm just going to figure out. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you can have a nice day. But for now, it's your farmer, Envoy Street. And I'll see you all very soon.